Welcome back to the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. We are doing so much of this lately. I'm so excited because last time we did that whole house renovation and now we have practically 19,000 simoleons and we're going to use that all in our own house today. So I'm not sure how much other gameplay we're going to get to. I just would like to do some good renovations on our place. So I think first things first, we did start on the basement. It kind of got to a weird point uh, because it's just this. So I would like to finish the actual structure of the basement, uh, which is basically just going to follow underneath the foundation of the house. So I'm just going to take, uh, I guess maybe not the foundation of the fireplace. Oh no, we could have another fireplace down there. So yeah, it's going to, I think I might even, yeah, take it underneath this decking here. So it's like this whole section. All right, so there you go. So now that's all under here. It's the same footprint as the foundation of the house. So it's kind of like a cellar. It's gonna remove these excess walls. So inside the house, we do want to do a makeover because <laughs> how have I spent? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, how have I spent money? Yeah, it's the basement. Fair enough. We do need access to the basement. That's fine. Let's um first of all check. I, I did steal this computer. So we could sell that or keep it. I'm not actually sure yet. This I shouldn't have. This actually accidentally glitched into my inventory. So we should not have this stove. 525. So we've got 17,587. So I put my money back down and then, yeah, so I did steal this. The other thing glitched, so that's fine. Now, let me put the kitchen in here. I think one of the main things we should probably do is move the kitchen to the other side of the house because we've been meaning to do that. And now that she has a decent amount of money, we can actually afford to do it. Ah, oh, Hagrid finished his food. Nice, get away, move that. Ah, oh, my, my ticket, my ticket to Sim Sessions. Yeah, the main inventory. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is also we'll move all this stuff too. And now we're gonna open up the, uh, the fireplace once again because we covered that up back in the day knowing that we were gonna open it. And I'm thinking, should we maybe just open this area to be a kitchen living area? It probably makes the most sense, right? Having it as one space. Ooh, I could use the CC floor. Maybe we should try this out. Ooh, very nice. From the uh, Deligracy and Little Dicker uh, Delicious Kitchen Pack. Very cool. All right, walls. I do like the blue. So maybe we go with the blue, especially with this uh, sort of color here. It's a little dusty in here. Let's not worry about that. Fireplace is here. Maybe we should uh, scrub it clean. No, can we change it maybe? Is there a better one? I do very much like that. What about this? That doesn't fit what about that that's a i don't think that really goes with this oh paranormal so that yeah this is the one we had i was just wondering if we could up our bouge factor i guess maybe that it's just it's a bit strange that it's kind of indented in that wall like the, i guess the way i did it was a little strange uh <laughs> The way it's kind of in there. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And you know what? Maybe should this wall be a different? Maybe it shouldn't be the, the trim. Maybe it should just be like that wall there, like from the outside. Okie dokie. So we have a door to the bathroom, door to the bedroom. Um, That's fine. I think maybe what we could do. So front door here. Could we potentially get stairs? in the house. Maybe we can design around actually having stairs inside because stairs outside was not work. What if we get them here, right? Watch out, Hagrid. And I do this. Let's just wall them off. Uh, hope Hagrid's okay. Why did all my lights go off? Who did the new doors? I don't know. I I like the handles on the new doors, but I don't like the little strips that it has. That's what I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, so no, I think just the, the standard door it's so expensive though. This this door is 305. It is just a standard door, just a standard white. I know it's boring, but it is, it's it's a classic. You know, it's a classic. Okay, so let's say that that's our basement entrance. Can we is it is it unrealistic to move our window heights up? Because it's really annoying me how low they are. <laughs> like when we go to put in the kitchen and all that, they're so low. Because like at the moment, we, could, we wouldn't really be able to put the kitchen anywhere. Could maybe go along this wall here, but then it kind of blocks that door as you come in, doesn't it? I feel like the kitchen kind of has to go over here in this corner and then, or even just here. Maybe we can do a smaller door on the back because that's taking up too much space. It's just taking up too much space. Maybe just something like this, like a little back porch door. And that means we can have the kitchen here in this space. Can I get smaller windows here? Because that's in the way. So kitchen cabinets and all that. I, what happened to my lights? Why, why are my lights off? It's really annoying. There we go. All right, so kitchen cap, let's get out what we had and then we'll try and play around with the layout. We've got two more of these. Oh, that's right. When you have them, you can't actually, like I can't turn this into a corner piece, which is kind of annoying. At least I don't think there's any way you can turn an existing piece. Unless maybe I just do auto counters. Does it fix itself? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. You just can't manually change them. Fair enough. Okay, so we could have that there. Obviously these windows are now kind of no good. Though we could use the delicious kitchen stuff because they added some perfect like kitchen uh, bench windows that fit like right behind these. Actually, I'm not quite, oh, okay, yeah. So it's, 
It sits there. We kind of just need counters that don't have the back lip because then it lines up perfectly. And I think that fits perfectly between where the cabinet above goes. Maybe we could put up some greenery between the two, these two houses because I kind of want a little privacy for my neighbors, you know? Oh, great. This isn't tall at all. <laughs> okay, this... This provides no privacy at all. It needs to be like this high. Just block their windows. <laughs> their window has nothing. Okay, maybe we can do... What about this? We use this eco... eco fence. Whoa! That destroys their entire house. I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's go with that for now. Can I? What if I if I did a wall like that? It's kind of it makes this area definitely a little smaller, but it, it gives us that sort of degree of separation here. But I'm thinking maybe what if we did it over here? Let's maybe. Oops. Oh, oh. What if we do it here, right? So what I would like, what I would really like, is if I could do this and I could have the fridge function here half the time it doesn't function i think it has to be put, like placed perfectly okay, does this work first of all let, let's just see let me let me just see if this works quick meal cereal yeah nah okay i didn't think so uh i, I love the look of that but it's just obviously it's not working so let's remove those walls let's just go back to this the other thing we do is just put it on this wall here um or it goes here i just don't like the idea of it sitting here especially near that fireplace it looks a bit bizarre the other place it goes is over this side but I, I think maybe on this wall probably makes sense. Just these doors here is kind of uh, not great. <laughs> That's why I kind of like the fridge in its own little thing. All right, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to remove that wall for a second because I want to see if I can get this. Oh, I have to remove these walls too. I want to put this TV above the fireplace and I don't want to have to sell and buy another TV that isn't wall mounted because I would just lose money. So if I just do this, this old trick with move objects, sort of like wall mount it above the fireplace. Uh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to go with that. Then we just put the walls back and then we have essentially a wall mounted TV that's above the fireplace, which I think, I think makes sense, especially considering I don't think there's any other wall to put it on. Unless it was on this wall, which I guess... No, that doesn't make sense because then the couch has to go in front of the uh, the fireplace, which does not make sense. Uh, oh, I don't have that wallpaper. I think it was just the... Yeah, it's fine. All right. Okay, yeah, so the TV's there. All good. I don't think it's going to catch on fire, but I'm going to be honest, I cannot guarantee that fact. <laughs> I cannot guarantee if that's going to be the case or not. So the couch, I guess will go... I mean, it kind of works better there, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't, it kind of needs to be here. And then this is like a little hallway. So those go there. The dining table, I guess is going to go, you know, like here, sort of in the kitchen area. Because it, you know, kind of has to just go right there. Stove, I would like... It'd be nice by the window. You know, look out the window while you're cooking. Now, I know what you're going to say. The stove by the window is going to get all greasy. And that's true. But you just clean it. Uh, my parents have pretty much this exact setup, except with a um, gas top instead of a induction. But it's nice. You get to sit, stand there and look into the other person's house. We should definitely do some sort of screening out there. I don't know what yet, but let's just put that there for now. Um, <laughs> and then the dishwasher. Go there. The oven. Hmm. Dishwasher there. Maybe oven there. Sure. Uh, and then the Oh, the sink. Uh, oh, uh, there. There's a lot of, the problem is there's a lot of big appliances in this kitchen. Maybe we just need a regular stove. Hang on, let's get rid of these two. Let's do the, uh, oh, and this is going to open straight into the dining table. <laughs> Put that there. We're going to use the uh, snowy escape one. Okay, I think I need to change these two because maybe we go to this kitchen set. What about like this? Maybe a bit darker. Hmm. What about this kitchen? I don't like the color as much. Maybe that's better. Okay, let's do that. And then this stove can go... Maybe just like more traditional sort of stove look like that. Can I put the dishwasher next to the stove? Sure. I love how even the lighting is on all these. It really shows off that even, even lighting, doesn't it? Okay, that's a bit better. And then we're going to do... We will use Delicious Kitchen on this one because it actually has a light built into it, which is very nice. Because there has a beautiful light shining down. Cool. So that's that. I kind of feel like the the floor maybe should be... Should we go darker? No, but then all the cabinets are the wrong color, aren't they? Yeah, that doesn't work. Is there a better matching... I guess we don't want to match too much. To, no, let's leave it. All right, these doors I'm going to change as well. Also, is it... Yeah, is there a better place for these doors? Because I guess the fridge... The problem is the door to the bathroom has to be there. Like, that has to go there no matter what. So then shoving a fridge next to that seems like... Kind of awkward. What if it was like this? Go to the outside there. Go to the bathroom here. And the fridge there. And we extend the bedroom. Is this getting is this getting too pokey? I mean, there's a lot of now weird room shape. I think this is much worse. I think that's worse. I think that's worse. Let's go back. <laughs> I think that's much worse. I'm creating a lot of weird walls. Okay, so yeah, it has to be like that. We know that much. Um, which I guess those doors have to be there. This fridge, really, it can't go here. 
Okay, it, it just can't. Maybe it just has to go on this end of the kitchen and we just have to do less counter space. Now, I kind of want to do this. Is this too pokey as well? Because what I was going to do is like have that door like in an arch. I don't know, it's kind of cool, but then kind of like we had in the apartment, but is that silly? Probably, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Probably, so let's not do it. All right, do I have a kitchen bin in here? I do, I guess we'll just keep using this for now. So that goes there. Kitchen cabinets there. Thermostat for the house can go here. The, don't we have a smoke alarm somewhere? Somewhere, or did that get oh no it's over here uh put that over here in the kitchen zone uh the bowl well actually let's get a door to the bedroom as well which i also want to make over because that carpet in there is horrendous um <laughs> so i guess well the problem is do we go to this side of the room or this side of the room and then we have like a bunch of doors over here or do we have a gap in the middle where we could put stuff let's do this so the door is going to be on that side dog bowl there it might actually have to go outside to be honest because there's not a lot of space in here to do that. Treats, though, can of course go up on the counter. Maybe not next to the stove. Let's put it over... Let's put it in the corner over there. Corner up there. Future cube can also go up there with it. Uh, these flowers can go... Is there enough room on the table if those are there? Maybe not. Let's put them over here. Let's have the $10,000 computer sale that I could sell if I wanted. Coffee table. I feel like there should be a rug, but I'm not sure right now. Get this little llama thing. Can that go on the mantle? Oh, it can, but there's a TV there now, so never mind. <laughs> so let's not worry about that. A uh, little magazine stack, and then we've got the shoes, we've got the dog bed, we've got the old fridge, which we can sell. Uh, the dog bed, hmm, well... Let's have a look at the bedroom. Could we maybe extend out the side of the house, expand it a little, just a, just a smidge, just like this wall here would be lovely. So how would we adjust the roof line with the existing roof if we were doing that? Because like changing a roof on a house is very, very expensive realistically. But again, this is Sims. Do we just kind of play along with it and just do this because it's Sims? Or should we try something more complex? I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't like how the automatic wallpaper did not put a column there, but put one here though. So you're gonna get rid of the, that window there because it was behind all that stuff anyway. So then let's knock out this wall, okay? So let's just, that's our room now. It's a little bigger. Or do we, I guess the question is, do we have to, you know what? I'm gonna leave it the house the same shape for now. And we'll only do like interior and obviously we're adding the basement, that's fine. Um, maybe that should be part of the challenge is not changing the exterior of the house. Yeah, well the bedroom, I think I'm gonna just do some floorboards in there so it at least looks a little nicer. Now wallpaper wise, in here, we would just do a darker blue because that, that is quite nice. All right, let's remove this wall. All right, so that's currently the walk-in robe, which I think we're changing anyway. Yeah, this window, I think I'm gonna remove it because um, it sort of points to the front of the house anyway. There was, not much to see there. We can maybe put in another smaller window, but I'll remove that for now. And then I would like to reorganize this whole wall to be on that wall there. But thankfully it's pretty easy because it's all snapped together, which is quite nice. Now I can actually get rid of these mirrors. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a nice CC mirror. There's actually a little smaller. I could go here just behind these guys. But do I want mirrors there? Maybe I don't need a mirror. Maybe I'll just get rid of the mirrors. Now we do have all these floating shoes, which you may be aware <laughs> used to fill in the extra gaps uh, on these things, which I don't know to do with now like it's it was kind of annoying to do that. oh the yarn <laughs> it's kind of annoying to do that in the first place i don't know if i want to do that again so maybe we'll just get rid of them i am considering making this little should we make it smaller and then the main bedroom space feels bigger because we could just do that like an archway but it's still kind of like a separate space but then the problem is making the bedroom bigger doesn't really make it bigger unless i put the bed this way maybe because then you do get a bit more space around it although that door kind of hmm kind of still has to be that way, doesn't it? So, I mean, you don't really gain anything by doing that. Like, I can't put anything here. I mean, I guess I could put a bookshelf. I can get a nice little bookshelf there. I don't know about that one. Maybe not that one. Maybe just this one. It's nicely in that little spot. Maybe darken the bed down a bit. You know, make it a little cozier. Maybe we should use some blinds in here too, because we currently just don't have any. Now, they have to go below the yarn, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to close it. <laughs> so that's important. Hmm. We could do curtains like this, that is now below, and then maybe just change them to... I don't know if I like the gold bar on it. It has to be gray. It's quite, it's quite dark now, isn't it? Maybe a little too dark in this bedroom. Could we add a window here? It has to be that height there. What if we... Hang on. Move the curtain back up again to, I guess, the default height. Now, the yarn, maybe we move that over above this door, way just because i don't know it doesn't really fit over there okay and then the bed has to come forward a little bit because of the curtains now likewise with these just so they don't visually clip into them and then we have that one there so I, the idea was just to get a little bit more light but then now i've got an extra curtain i mean an extra window that doesn't have a curtain on it and then if i put a curtain on it it's going to have no light so i don't know what to do with that <laughs> we just leave it and this one in here can have that door okay uh it's looking better i think it's kind of, it's 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 hard okay it's kind of difficult 
cool. Now around the fireplace, do we need like something like these corners just are kind of a little strange. Like I feel it needs something there because the walls just kind of go there then stop. <laughs> Like, I don't know, it's, it's a bit odd. Look, there's a lot of oddities in this house. I'm not gonna lie. But I like, I think the bedroom's looking better. I like that. I think it's better. We definitely put something here, maybe. I think she should still be able to fit if we did, like, one of these things. Maybe, oh, the footprint's pretty big, actually. Although, she might still be able to fit around it. Well, let's put it in here. Maybe we can find out. I could even try line it up with the bed. And what if the door was, like, more that way? Can't quite line up with the bed. All right, never mind. Let's just do that. It's just gonna have to go there. Although, maybe, like, a more, like, storage would be better, like this, because it's small place so maybe more storage makes more sense what if i have two of those if she can still walk past that she can still walk past that okay so we can definitely still use this whole bed question is uh, am i just cramping the room now or am i am i making it more functional you know we get to that crossroad oh tv sweet oh yeah, yeah this little tray there that's cool uh i would put a mirror there but then it will block our view all the time because you'll always be able to see it so maybe i won't do that we could maybe move nah let's leave it let's just do that okay the bathroom stuff now i believe is isn't most of this stuff upgraded? Um, so we could probably keep a lot of it. Ah, oh, Batu tiles. Yes. Yes, please, Batu. Yeah. And then walling. No, 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 it can't be dark. Otherwise, where are those snowy escape? Yeah, these. Beautiful. And the white. That's always good. That, I don't know. I just think that looks so much better. Now, bathtub, I do want to change this. I don't even care if that's a good bathtub. It's ugly. Um, oh, we can have our own onsen. <laughs> And what bath do I want? I do like this one with the little feet, but I think this one might, oh, hmm. This one might be better like that. Now I believe, yeah, so this toilet is upgraded, but I guess, well, there's no need to get a new toilet unless we want it to look different. So I might as well just leave it. All right, so that's that. Uh, kitchen area, I'm okay with. Maybe what we do is just match Oh, not much, but use the uh, delicious kitchen set. We can do these like smoky mirrors behind. It's pretty cool. Like, I think that looks pretty cool. Looks a bit weird in the corner. Oh, oh, if I layer two of them though, it doesn't work. Mm. I suppose if I did that, that one, it should be fine. Yeah. Okay, well, what do all normal mirrors look like? Is that like, is that too reflective now? Or, you know, it'd probably be better to have a window to the back of the house because there's no windows on this wall. So we could definitely, <laughs> we could definitely add some. Just do a couple there, maybe. Move that up up there, back to daytime. That's probably better anyway. What, what windows does this house have? Oh, so it has a three over there. Okay, well, we've changed it, so that's fine. Okay, that, that's better. And then over here, we could actually use these mirrors, because why not? Maybe even use it on this one little spot there too. No, I don't like that. Let's just do it on that bit. Okay, so that's that. Now we've got this big wall here. Could use like a buffet table or something here. Okay, maybe like something like this. It kind of goes with all the other wood tones. Oh, it's kind of off. Like the, the kitchen counters are a little bit different. That's all right. We'll do that. And then this wall, maybe this wall could be a feature wall in white. Not like that. Kind of like that, but not not like that. So one that looks better than that. Like vertical beams, but better. Because this one, I don't think that's better. And by better, I kind of just want one that has a smoother texture like this. Does this have a white? Oh, there we go. That's way better. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Because the others are a little bit too textured, I think, if you look at them. Yeah. So something like that. And then is there a cool picture we could put on that wall or a mirror, but preferably a picture so I don't have to... I think I need a bigger buffet kind of table thing there. Yeah, preferably a picture so I don't have to put the walls. I mean, so the mirror doesn't block my view. A little nautical themed that. Oh, what is this? Stride with pride. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, why don't we get one of these in here? Heck yeah. All right, so this I think I'll change. Maybe is there like a longer one that kind of suits my purpose? Oh, this could go here. Is that too... Is that too... Hmm. That might be a little busy, to be honest. Oh, but look, I can even make that... Oh, that looks so... I love it. I love this. I don't know. I, lo I, I love this piece so much. And I never get to use it as much as I want to. <laughs> Can I get some spotlights on it? They're definitely hanging way too low. Uh, these they need to be like smaller, maybe like that or something. <laughs> I don't know. I really like it. Maybe this wall should also be this. Maybe this wall should also be this. No, no, no I'm getting carried away. Maybe just those walls. This could actually work quite well for the bathroom, to be honest. Maybe not where the shower is. Maybe like this wall. And then the bath can also be the tile. And then the stairwell can be this sort of vertical slot as well. Uh, oh, all my produce popped off of these. That's all right. Maybe I'll just sell these. I know I was going to sort of use them to eat with, but I think I'll just get rid of them. <laughs> We're going to cook with them, but... All right, I think we do... Yeah, that's good. I, I like that. I think this is coming. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know about... Maybe I just leave that blank because I, I feel like putting anything there not oh actually you know what that's kind of what i'm after but not as many little drawers and stuff but that kind of works okay fine I, i'm gonna do that uh <laughs> I, was, I was about to be like no we don't need anything but i was like oh wait a second that works perfectly now we do need a rug like i think that would finish off this space quite nicely i need the dream home decorator rugs maybe they're all kind of very 
patent though. I don't think I want a patent rug. Maybe just that. And then, okay, the pet stuff, because I still have the pet bed and the, and the toys and all that. Well, toys, they can probably fit over here. That's fine. Give that a new little color. Um, and then the pet bed, that could probably fit in this corner. Probably just move objects in. I think that should still work. This doesn't look very good. <laughs> maybe just that or something. I don't know. I, well, I kind of want to put something in that corner though. So maybe this can go. Well, actually, what if I put it here next to the couch? Let me just move this dining table a little bit so he can sleep there or mm, there's not really room in the bedroom so maybe not there well come, hang on maybe there's better maybe put it there whoops move the armchair over a little bit because then we can still put something in the corner there and then the little toy chest can go maybe we can go here you know just there it's fine Ooh, delicious kitchen stuff ah oh, a little succulent yeah put that on the little coffee table nice <laughs> i want to Something like tall. Ah, oh, Batu! Yeah! They don't, I think they're a bit much to put in the corner here though. They're kind of more outdoorsy. What about this little plant stack? I don't know if this is super indoorsy though. Like I think maybe it doesn't, we could put it outside to go with all my other plants. I do like that, but yeah, I don't think that really works over here. I was kind of looking for a little side table I could use. Maybe we just use this little guy there. Have a little side table like that. Oh, drinks tray. <laughs> no, I won't use that. I do love the drinks tray. Ah, oh, tea towels. Could I have Dream Home decorator magazines and stuff here you know like she's been working got some stuff sitting there that's all good okay i think i still want to plant in this corner though problem is there's not a whole a lot of thin and tall plants that also look good i'm thinking maybe this yeah can i just sit far enough in from the wall though okay maybe not maybe just the light also i have a lot of i never really moved any of the lights when we did the renovation i think it's a small one there i think maybe i should oh actually hang on let me put that back maybe i should uh reposition them a little bit yeah so we have like these six little spotlights in this room i think i'll move this set over a little bit it's nice and bright and and do we have one in this room? I don't, oh, it's like in the halfway in the door. Okay, yeah, so we'll move that actually into the room. There you go. Uh, the bedroom and bathroom one's fine though. Well, I think this is a really good change. I think it looks way, way better. Now I do have that laptop still and this computer. I. I guess we should set up, we'll set up like a workshop, I think. And that'll be downstairs, but I don't think we really have time to do it now, but we'll, let's get the structure working out. So at least we have the stairs inside now. I am much happier with that. Um, so I want to set up some like window wells and all that kind of stuff, like light wells. Uh, so we can actually have some windows downstairs. So I guess around the side of the house, we could definitely get some, if we use the basement tool, do this here, right? Then we remove the ceiling. So that's now open, which yes, is a little dangerous, but we're not going to, we're not having any sims sort of walk around this area of the house anyway. So essentially what this allows us to do is if we open this up, so now there's actually natural light coming down here. So then we could use, let's just say these windows, which are pretty epic, which I don't think we would use down here. I don't know what we'd use. Cause I guess we got to think, is this a brand new basement or is, is this the idea? Cause we didn't build this before we bought it, but is it, is the idea that uh, this basement already existed and now she's renovating it? Maybe she put in the, the basement windows. Maybe this basement already existed. It was, it was disgusting. Um, and then I guess the question is what would you, what windows would you do down here? Would you just do giant windows? Seems a little excessive if you're looking at a wall, but maybe it makes sense. Anyway, let's do a few, like, so yeah, we'll do a few more of those. Obviously we'll, you know, put fencing or something around it. So, so it's not just a hole that you can fall into. Uh, we'll get somewhere on this side of the house here as well. I think maybe that might be it. Could potentially do one there, but I think I might leave it for now. So just a couple over here as well. Now it's also a very gray day right now because it's actually raining if we go back into live mode. So we've got to keep that in mind, a little gray. So we have those light wells there for the base. I guess the question is, do we continue this down here so it looks like it's part of the existing house, you know? I guess so. Unless we make over the outside and repaint the outside and all that. Now maybe we, maybe she's just like, okay, I'm going to use the same one. So the house looks the same down there. Now around these holes in the floor, we should have some sort of protection. <laughs> maybe we just use this fence, like the existing fence that we're already using. Because then it, it doesn't block all the light and it kind of matches the rest of the house, you know? Sure, let's do that for now. <laughs> that's our current plan then it's safe we don't have to worry about it now our kitchen window is again still looking directly into the other house so that is something i did want to screen and i was thinking maybe we could use this green wall here instead so if we line it up against this fence like yeah it's still going to be right in front of their window and their house like that but look honestly don't build your house right i get up to the boundary fence then that's kind of your own your own fault whoops those are the wrong height that's kind of your own fault you know building a house that close to the boundary so what can i say snooze you lose and right, now let's sort of line these up all right so now you look out the window you see some beautiful greenery if they look out the window they just see wood but hey whatever okay that works for me now downstairs uh let's just say well first of all let me get some let me get some lights in here i kind of like the idea of this being the old basement 
that was just never used. So I'm just gonna get some of these hanging light bulbs down here. And then we're gonna renovate it in time is kind of my, my thinking. Because we're unfortunately not gonna renovate this today because we don't have enough time to do that. Let's just say the stairs come down here, but she has already, you know, cleaned up the basement and decided, I'm just not sure about the window situation. Like, do we do we use the, the same sort of windows? What, what windows are we using up here? Okay, we are using the season's windows. Like, do we use the matching sort of windows down here? Like, should we do that? Or should we, I don't know, let me know. Or should we sort of do like more of a modern thing? So down in the basement here, I'm thinking, well, we'll have uh, probably a workshop for her, maybe like a paint studio kind of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of all I've got. Because I don't. we could add bedrooms. I don't know if I want to add bedrooms in the basement though. I don't know. It just kind of doesn't seem as nice. I guess we could. I mean, we got the, we got big windows down here. It's not completely upsetting. And we could do the same sort of thing where we get maybe even these kind of vines out here. You know, just some greenery out here. So like when you look out the window, you don't see just the wall. You know, you see some sort of green and then you still have natural daylight coming in there. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what we do with that. I mean, I guess this whole episode was literally just a renovation because that's kind of all we have time for today. And it's pouring with rain, but we do have a basement and we do have a I think a much nicer looking house uh, at least when I zoom in those mirrors work if I'm out here it's not I might have to change that because it kind of glitches around a little bit um hey uh can I let's uh, maybe not a walk because it is raining let's maybe <laughs> oh my god you're running around the house before before we head off before we head off give you a little brush because you are a hair oh you got one of your toys that's amazing give you another little brush and I also need to vacuum this house because it is also dusty. Oh, there's no room to vacuum. Pet obsessions, like almost all pets, Hagrid. Oh my gosh, do I not have room to vacuum this house? <laughs> no, where are you going? Oh no, is there too many items in here? I actually cannot clean it. This could be a problem. Vacuum, heaven, <laughs> vacuum, no. You can't, can I vacuum on the balcony? Oh boy, guys, I can't clean my house. How about in here? The bedroom? Oh no. We literally need to build a room where I can vacuum. How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> okay, what if I just throw away that pile of dust? I don't know. Well, all right, Hagrid. Oh, you got your ball. It's amazing. Well done. I'll get, oh, hey, that's not a chow chow. It's got a pink tongue. Chow chows have a blue tongue. That is factually inaccurate, Sims. I demand that to be fixed in the next update. Otherwise, I'm boycotting Sims. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. All right, so that's good. So today, like I said, oh, hey, my window broke over here. Today, like I said, we just mo mostly did the renovation. Well, that's all we did. Uh, we'll be back next time. I think this is all working. Let, let me just sit here as well. And if I just say, watch, watch channel, watch, watch the fireplace channel. That's always good. Speaking of fireplace channel, should we light the fireplace? Is that a good idea? I don't know. Let's try it. I, ah, cozy. <laughs> ah, you know, what could be better than having two fireplaces going at once? And we also have the heated thermostat on. You know, it's really cold out, okay, guys, here in Del Sol Valley. But with that, we're going to leave this part here of Dream Home Decorator. We did just do our own Dream Home decoration. I think, I for one, think it's a lot better. But please, please do leave your comments and suggestions down below because there's a lot of, of this that I was actually kind of unsure about. Even the fireplace, like, like I said, with those walls just being a little bit different. Um, overall, I think we came up pretty well if I just spin around a little bit as well. We've got this little section here. We've got the beautiful pride artwork up on the wall, which is actually pretty sweet. We can see that there. I think this looks really nice. I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Uh, yeah, we've got that nice, I love that shelf. Does that shelf work? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know where my light is. I can't see them. Kitchen over there. Very nice. Uh, and then through to the bedroom. Bedroom's more or less the same. I added a little bit more furniture. I don't know. Is that a bad thing? Like, is it too cramped in here now? Did we overdo that? Uh, and then spinning around this way, we have the walk-in robe. It's now just on that wall in there. We've got the yarn, which you can now freely look at, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. And then we got the stairs down to the basement straight through there. Oh, I didn't actually choose the color of the stairs, but that's right. We'll do that with the basement renovation. Overall, uh oh, Hagrid's barking. <laughs> Overall, I think it's coming along pretty good, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.